Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Rere PV TV The Week. Our main topics include China's and India's PV quarrels with the US and the Rere AG targeting the Brazilian market. Furthermore, we will have our usual newsflash with topics from the PV industry summarized for you. Nice to have you clicked in. China-US disputes on renewables continues. Some days ago, China's Commerce Ministry reaffirmed that six renewable energy projects in the US violated World Trade Organization rules. This could lead to actions against US solar manufacturers. It's the most recent action in a series of actions stemming from when Solar World Bank Coalition for American Solar Manufacturing first filed a complaint against Chinese silicon PV manufacturers' trade practices last fall. Since then, the US Commerce Department has instated preliminary tariffs against Chinese PV imports. Following the US action, Solar World AG and partners in Europe have filed similar complaints with the EU. However, this action by China may help stimulate a discussion on exports and imports from both countries, contended John Smirnov, Vice President of Trade and Competitiveness at the Solar Energy Industries Association. US credits trouble Indian PV industry. The Delhi-based Center for Science and Environment says conditions placed by the US as part of its Climate Fast Start Finance Initiative is killing the Indian solar panel industry. According to the CSE, the US Exim Bank and the Overseas Private Investment Corporation are offering low interest loans to solar project developers in India only if they buy the equipment, the solar panels and sell from the US companies. As a result, most orders are being backed by US companies rather than local manufacturers, putting the domestic solar photovoltaic industry at risk, says CSE Deputy Director Chandra Bhushan. Currently, 80% of local manufacturers are in a state of forced closure while the US manufacturers are getting orders from Indian solar power developers, according to the CSE. Rere AG is looking for franchise partners in Brazil. In cooperation with the forwarding agent Hellman Worldwide Logistics and the German Chamber of Commerce in Sao Paulo, the German Rere AG is currently organizing a roadshow in Brazil. After the Rere AG has signed franchise deals with partners in Chile and Ecuador in the last couple of weeks, the company now tries to win over partners in Brazil the largest country in Latin America and therefore informs potential franchise partners in Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro and Porto Alegre about the company and possibilities of cooperation. Brazil, which lays mainly between the equator and the Tropic of Capricorn, has a very favorable solar radiation in relation to the actual use of solar energy. The country is the world's sixth largest economy and ranks among the Latin American markets where there is a gradual upturn in the market for solar energy. U.S. 80% of renewables possible by 2050. The U.S. Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Laboratories has released a study of the extent to which renewable energy can meet the future electricity demands of the United States, looking at scenarios from 30 to 90% of electricity demand. The study also examines the challenges that high levels of renewable generation pose to the operation of the nation's electricity grid. The report concludes that the technologies available today, along with grid change, are capable of supplying 80% of electricity demand by 2050, with wind and solar representing half of that amount. GM builds PV plant on Opel rooftop. General Motors company from Detroit has built an 8.15 megawatt solar photovoltaic plant on the roof of its Opel factory in Rüsselsheim, Germany. Investor Wagner AG based in Cologne partnered with GM to build PV plants over 225,000 square meters on the roofs of three buildings producing 1.4 megawatt, 2.2 megawatt and 3.1 megawatt respectively. These three join 1.45 megawatt of PV installed in 2010 on a fourth roof. Centrotherm shuts down Vienna subsidiary. German Central Term Photovoltaics AG has announced that it will cease operations at subsidiary Central Term Power Solutions in Vienna, Austria, which provided engineering services and project management as part of its ongoing reorganization. Central Term is reviewing various options for actions related to the winding down of the company in accordance with Austrian law. 38 employees will be affected by the decision. Ginkgo Solar reports losses. Chinese Jinko Solar Holding Company has released second quarter 2012 results reporting a 45-year-over-year -year fall in revenues to $195 million, despite a 19% increase in shipments to 302 megawatt. 
The company has significantly reduced its operation losses from the previous quarter, achieving an operation margin of minus 6.7%, but also reported a net loss of $48.9 million during the quarter. Ginkgo Solar predicts that the worst is over for the company and expects increased sales in the second half of 2012. More solar for India. Californian Avatar Solar has awarded Indian Vari Energies with a turnkey project order for a 5 MW solar photovoltaic plant to be built in the Sharanka Solar Park in the Indian state of Gujarat. The Sharanka Solar Park includes at least 20 individual solar plants built by different developers, 17 of which were commissioned as of January 2012 for a total capacity of 213 MW. The park is located in Sharanka, in Gujarat's Patan district. Norway builds PV plants in South Africa. The Norwegian government's pension fund, KLP, and the Norwegian Investment Fund for Developing Countries have agreed to invest $85 million each to invest in wind, water and solar projects in South Africa. Norwegian company Skartex Solar is starting their first solar projects in the country. The company will build solar power plants with a total capacity of around 350 megawatt in the next few years. The company is expecting to have a profit margin of at least 10%. Renix, the global stock index for renewable energy Renix World decreased yesterday around 0.5% and ended with a daily height of 173.44 points. The biggest winner was apart from the American GT Advanced Technologies whose share climbed by 4.37% to $6.22, the Chinese company Trina Solar whose shares increased by 3.43% to $5.26. On the other hand, the share of China Wind Power sank by 10.53% to $0.021. So those were the news for this week. Next Friday, we will be back for you as usual. In the meantime, I also recommend you to follow our daily news on our website pv.tv. Until then, see you and goodbye.